Welcome back, everybody. Standing ovation here. Got another break. I got 2022 Panini Prism WWE Debut Edition Wrestling Cards. Yeah, what the heck, eh? Actually, I've opened one of these before. I didn't, uh, didn't do it on camera. This was actually before I was doing, way back before my YouTube days, I ripped open cards all by myself. And uh, actually, I've opened up, I think, two of these, and a whole bunch of the... Uh, Blasters that I've way overpaid on, I'm pretty sure, with the red, white, and blue inserts. These have the green prism pulsar, or green pulsar prisms, uh, blaster exclusives in them. Basically, they're green prisms. Um, and I'm not sure if they pulse or not. I couldn't remember if they're, they're pulsing or not, but they were green. Uh, you can't read that very well. But this is, again, 24 cards total in the box. You get six packs, four card packs. Panini Prism taking their popularity and spreading it around. They've got Prism Soccer, Draft Picks Edition. Uh, they got wrestling cards. I see a lot of now. They got, you know, the basket or uh, yeah, basketball just came out. Yeah, it's Prism. It's Prism everywhere. So I don't know wrestlers the way I used to. I know Roman Reigns kind of like he's got the sleeves and, but all these girls I don't know because it used to be just Trish Stratish and. Stratus and Mula and Sensational Sherry, Elizabeth. It was so easier back in the day because there was hardly any of them. Now they're all like, they're all stars and they're all like superstars and they're, they're wrestlers. But I don't know. I don't watch wrestling nearly much, as much if all at all anymore. It, uh, it's changed too much. There's, you know, there's the European League. There's the, they bought the TNA and they got the, I don't know what they, they there's so many, but I still see Chris Jericho all by himself in some other league that, uh, at least, uh, there's competition. And I know that Vince McMahon idiot, he finally got himself separated from the industry after womanizing too many people or whatever he did. I don't know. He's an idiot. I mean, he's a businessman, but it doesn't mean that a good businessman is a good person. Some presidents prove that point. Um, yeah. I don't know why I get picking on U.S. presidents right now. I'm in Canada. I'm a happy Canadian. Let's remain happy and festive. Festive time with six packs of debut edition. And you know what I did? I actually picked up this at the same time. This is the Select. I hadn't even seen these before. I know they've been out for a little while too. But that'll back to back this. I don't know if I'll split it, split it into two days or if I'll just put up two separate videos staged apart from each other. I don't know what I'll do. I, used, I, I think i got to build up some content for the next couple of weeks because eventually I'm going to go away again and I'm going to have to push a whole bunch of videos in advance. So maybe these will be saved till then. Who knows? Maybe it's Christmas and nobody... It's like I'm filming this in October. So who knows when it will be actually presented to the world. And, you know, for the people that watch wrestling break videos, it's probably not as nearly as many. It's got to be hockey. That's all I love. But, you know, i got, I got to do them all. I'm going to be the YouTube... Uh, card breaking dude I gotta break them all Angelo Dawkins see I don't know who he is and I do know that there's like half the half the set is horizontal and the other half is vertical which for whatever reason they did that there's Stevie Turner that's a rookie see, she's a she's a rookie and I didn't know that I don't know who Stevie Turner is I know who Bruno San Martino is the living legend R.I.P. he was uh he was a champ way back in the day before Hulk Hogan's and the Iron Sheik, we had Bruno. And, uh, yeah, that's an old, old, old school wrestler. Back in the eight, early 80s. And our prism in this pack is Shina Balsar. Balsar? It's the standard prism. Card number 100. She's from SmackDown. She's from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I still haven't heard of her. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, well... I will carry on and see Chad Gable. Haven't heard of him. And I've got Big E. Uh, haven't heard of him. And again, you know, this is just me. I should be probably... The kids today who know who all these are, right? I mean, kids still watch wrestling. If they're not looking at their phones, I think. The Miz. I think I've heard of him. You know, something to do with uh, the Jersey Shore... Oh, no, that was a different one. Yeah. There's a Fearless Becky Lynch. And I've seen these Fearless in UFC cards as well. So it's kind of like a crossover insert brand. Miss Becky Lynch. Actually, I pulled a few of those uh, in the first box I broke. So that's not a very rare insert. I think I'll get another one. I'm planning on getting two Fearlesses. That's what I'm planning. But hopefully I'll get something else that wasn't like the other ones. Kenny Williams rookie card. Don't know him. Um... Mandy Rose. Oh, that's uh, 
she's holding on to her. You know, which one's Mandy? See, I'm going to think it's her, but I don't know. I don't know either. Brock Lesnar. Okay, I have heard of that guy. He's got the ugliest tattoo in all the sports. Right up the middle of his chest. It's the smallest sword you'll have ever seen. And there's the Brock. With an entrance, the demon Finn Balor. I guess he has a prismatic entrance. Don't know. Haven't watched him enter. Haven't, haven't watched him exit. So, so yeah. So, yeah. That's the thing. Got to watch the wrestlers to know them. And see, that's where I feel a little silly just breaking this. But, you know, these will all go up on YouTube. That's what I should remind people. Check out my YouTube page. Or my YouTube. These will all go up on eBay. Well, they'll all go up on YouTube, too. I do eBay more than I do sports cards on YouTube. So, check me out. I'm going to be listing a whole bunch of stuff over the next couple of days. And this will likely be a lot if not with mixed in with some of the other ones. Um, yeah. So, if you're into wrestling, check these out. On the other hand... Maybe, maybe we'll just go up individually. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Julius Creed, rookie card. I really got to stop putting my fingerprints all over these because they're kind of, I mean, they, they just, they're easily marked. T-Bar. Oh, I went skiing many a times and rode up the hill on a T-Bar. Mm -hmm. Not looking like him, but anyway. There's Tiffany Stratton. Okay. I don't know her. She's a rookie, so that's probably why. And I've got an insert here again. Is it fearless? No, it's it's a prism. It's a prism gold Drew McIntyre. Not sure what belt he's holding. Is that the Intercontinental? Is that the SmackDown title? Is that the... That's not the championship belt. Air Scotland. Drew McIntyre. Ah, oh, he's from my home country. Alas. Okay. Okay. This is kind of, I don't know, I, I wish I'd seen something. Maybe I should have watched a couple of these first because, again, this is a $50 box in Walmart, 50 Canadian tax, 56 and change. So, yeah, I don't know if this is really going to be something I'll, a memory I'll cherish forever. Looks like I got my green, green prism pulsar coming up. Lewis Howley, rookie. Ultimate Warrior. And I know I've got I've had this card before because I had the green prism pulsar of them that somebody bought off me on eBay. Yep, he's dead too. All these old guys, they're all gone now. Don't do steroids, kids. Veer Mahan, rookie. Okay, and the prism green pulsar is Dakota Kai. Don't know her. She's got pink hair though. Yep, no, well, that's Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai. Not be com confused with the Cobra Kai. Yeah. Okie dokie. Last pack in this break. I got Naomi. I got Cora Jade. Rookie. Booker T. I've heard of Booker. And my last card, a fearless riddle. So there you go. A little bit overpriced, if you ask me. I'm not into wrestling. Now, if you're into wrestling, maybe you feel that was fair value. But I usually do sports cards, not sports entertainment cards. And in my opinion, this one is a thumbs down. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe the select will make me think that wrestling cards are all that. In the meantime, keep on collecting, folks. Standing Ovation will be back with another break before too long. In fact, maybe right after this one. If not, it'll be tomorrow. I'll put that select up like so it's back to back. And uh, we'll see. We'll see you soon. Take it easy, folks. Standing ovation out.